It's a reality of life today. Kids as young as first, second grade have tests to take, oftentimes weekly. And those tests can make a real significant and big difference in how they perform and how they move up and on in their schooling. Plus, they have to take those statewide tests in order to get placed and move forward as well. That can cause a lot of anxiety, don't you think? There's some tips and there's some tricks to be able to improve upon your kiddo's ability to perform a little bit better during those tests and make that anxiety come down just a little bit. Let's discuss. Hey, this is Ryan Field Spack. Welcome to Hyper Academy. So glad to have you here with me today. It's a ruthless world out there. How do you stand up and step out? You do it by getting your mind right, and that's what Hyper Academy is here to talk about today. Really appreciate you being here today. Today we're talking about how we can help our little kiddos do better when they're taking those tests. A spelling test, a regular exam in order to move on to a different portion in a class, um, or even just some of those state standardized tests. Every kiddo has to take them and they can be nerve wracking. So how do we help them move along and how do we help them have a little bit less anxiety? We're gonna talk about three specific things today that will immediately help them improve. So let's get right to it. The first, meditation. Meditation, you think, wait a minute, that's something that adults do in um, meditation camps or that gurus do or monks do. How can my little kiddo do meditation? And honestly, meditation is much easier than you think. You can help your kiddo get into it, but why is meditation so important? Meditation trains the mind, even a little kiddo's mind, to be able to focus on the present moment when their mind is wandering to something else. So you can think about if they're sitting down to a test, they're getting ready to start doing that activity and their mind starts wandering to, my tummy's rumbling, I'm hungry, I want to get ready to go out to recess, I wonder what gym's going to be today. Can you imagine all the things that their minds are going to be running towards? And then sooner or later, they'll get back to the test at hand and five minutes has gone past. Those are the challenges that if they are meditating, they can acknowledge when their mind gets pulled away and then they can bring it back to the present moment and start focusing a little bit better. So the big question is, how do you get your kiddo to meditate? It's not something that has to be a regimen that they do every single day, but maybe something as simple as just a one minute breathing exercise when you get a chance that you can work into maybe your morning routine. Something that I'm trying to do with some of my three kiddos, I've got a second, a pre-K, and a two-year-old. All of them have their different challenges in their beginning, middle, and end of their days, but if I try, especially for my second grader, to be able to get him to focus and breathe more, it'd be a great opportunity. So all I try to do is I set a timer for one minute. He can keep his eyes open or closed, and he just focuses on his breath. In and out. And when his mind wanders, when he starts thinking about something else, just tell him, okay, you note it, and then you bring it right back to the present moment of breathing in and breathing out. Just that simple little exercise is something that can really help. There's a lot of meditation apps out there. Um, there's Calm that can give some kiddo-based things as well. Um, and there's a number of other ones that will definitely help out um, from that perspective as well. So something to think about or just set that timer for one minute and then we'll hop out. Number two, the best way that you can get a kiddo to focus on the present moment is by doing some mindfulness exercises. Now there's a couple different ways I do it in particular and you can get this guide specifically on my website for free that talks about how you can take a quick deep breath, open your jaw, take that deep breath and open your fists and that will lower the anxiety level in your mind and in your body so that you can focus better in the present moment when you've acknowledged that your mind is wandering. Same thing can go for a little kiddo, right? When they are getting ready for the test, see if you can get them to think about a trigger. Maybe focus on the end of your pencil. By focusing on the end of that pencil, it takes them away from everything else that's being extraneous and pulling their mind and tension away to just focusing us on the pencil in the present moment. Or focus on the corner of the page that they're looking at. Or focus on a certain key if they're doing it on a computer. Those type of things, if they can focus on that when they're getting ready to start, that will give them the opportunity to focus more directly on the task at hand. So mindfulness, 
meditation. And then the third one that we definitely want to talk about is how to kind of practice it, how to practice the task or the test or the thing that they're getting ready to do. I like to try to make it fun and I make it repetitive. So my second grade kiddo gets his spelling list every Wednesday. After that Wednesday list comes in, we pick three of those words and we do a fun jingle or we do a fun opportunity where I get it so he can remember those quickly and I have him wrap those off really fast and then move on to the second chunk of three. And we make him into a jingle or he does those really fast and then we can bring those together in either couplets, three and three, or triplets, three, 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 right? So those are different ways to make it fun, make it engaging, and make it so it's not a chore for them to learn and rehearse the different components of the test that they may be taking coming up, right? So definitely things to think about. And I think finally, don't be too hard on them. They are in first, second, third, fourth grade, whatever they may be in, right? The test is important but we also don't want to put an undue burden on our kiddos so that they feel more stressed than they should. They still are those kiddos. They still have that zest for life in them. So if you can try to make that balance with meditation, with mindfulness, and some of the fun repetition to get them more comfortable with the testing material, could be a good way to go. How do you Get your kiddo prepared to be in a testing situation. What tips or tricks might you have? Put them in the comments below. Would love for the Hyper Academy community to learn more from you. If you thought this was a good video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Lots of great content like this that the Hyper Academy channel puts out every single week. If this interests you, give me a subscribe. Hope you're doing well. Hope this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Let's talk about how to calm the chaos in your house, calm the chaos with your children, and how we can move throughout the day with a better poised, focused, and mindful attitude 